Thanks. New at 11, York County deputies say they are seeing more and more teens misuse Orbeez guns. Now, Orbeez guns are similar to water guns, but with gel beads inside. Brenna McIntosh joins us in the studio after speaking to the York County Sheriff about this. So, Brenna, these toy guns can be more dangerous than people think, huh? Dana, that's right. York County Sheriff Ron Montgomery says some of these toy guns can fire a bead up to 200 feet per second. He urges teens to use caution and use the toy as intended. Have you heard of Orbeez? Well, your kids probably have. The gel beads are often marketed alongside toy guns for children. Now, obviously, if you're going to use it in the manner that it was intended, you could have some fun, you know, shooting at targets or whatever. But that's not how everyone uses the toy in York County. Just last week, deputies arrested a teen and a man for shooting the gel beads while driving along Water Street in Yorktown. York Pocosin Sheriff Ron Montgomery says one of those beads nearly hit a man in the eye. This thing can fire a projectile at 200 feet per second. So I would say that if it had struck his eye, actually, uh, it could have been a serious injury. Sheriff Montgomery says this isn't his first encounter with Orbeez guns. We have had at least a couple of incidents in the Yorktown area, in the area of the parking garage, where we had reports of similar type activity where people were being hit with these types of uh, projectiles and receiving minor injuries. Sheriff Montgomery says he's seen an uptick in people shoplifting the toys, too. He's urging anyone playing with these toy guns to use them as intended or face the consequences. If you engage in this type of activity in York County, you're going to face criminal charges. And we tried to see how difficult it is for teens to get their hands on these toy guns. We found several generic gel bead guns like this one at a York County Walmart, but they were locked up in a case. Verna McIntosh, 13 News Now. All right, Brenna, thanks. The two people involved in the toy gun shooting in York County last week are facing charges. Deputies say a 17-year-old is charged with assault and 20-year-old Kamari Laquan is charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor.